Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let me show you how to use hyperlinks inside of iWork Keynote. So here I've got a sample presentation in Keynote. And I've got a slide here that shows the names of some websites. So say I want these to actually link to the websites. So I would select the text and I would bring up the inspector pressing the inspector button and then I would go to the second to the last tab which is hyperlinks. Click on enable hyperlink and I would set this text to link to a web page. And then here I would simply type the name of the website or exact page I want it to go to. And there I go. Now when I play this and I click on that link it will open Safari and take me to that page. Now I may also want to use hyperlinks to link to something inside of the presentation. So say instead of going linearly from the first slide to the last slide I want to be able to jump around. And I've got a slide here that has a bunch of different topics and these link to different slides. And each of these slides could actually be the beginning of a whole section of slides. So say I want this first one here to link to the next slide, slide number four. I could enable it as a hyperlink and have it go to a specific slide and select slide number four. Then this one here I can select to go to slide number five etc. all the way down. So I can get to this slide in my presentation perhaps talk to the audience a bit and decide I want to jump right here and it will be able to jump right to that slide. Now likewise when I'm on a screen like this I may want to jump back to the menu. So one of the things you can do to do that is create a little link back. I'm going to create an extra text box. Um, create a back button if you would. Select it. Enable this hyperlink. Have it go to slide number three which is that menu slide. Now when I go to the menu and play I can jump to top, the second topic there and then there's the back button. And I can click that and jump back. So in addition to using a piece of text like this word back here I can use shapes as well. So I can say take an arrow here. I will turn it around so it's like a little back arrow. And I can enable this as a hyperlink and have it go to a specific slide just like the text. In addition any hyperlink can also go to the next slide, previous slide. So you can kind of create your own back and forward buttons. Uh, jump to the first or last slide or go to the last side viewed, a back button. So you can have say a slide that's kind of a footnote or maybe a definition for something in there that's accessed by many different places inside of your slideshow and then include this back button so they always go back to their last place they were. Now another thing you can do is you can link to a completely different keynote presentation. So say each one of these goes to a different presentation or perhaps this third menu item here should go to a whole new set of slides so I can have it linked to a keynote slideshow and then it will ask me to select a file and I can have it jump to that. So you can link together different keynote presentations using this. Another thing you could do is have it generate an email message. So say on this last slide here I can select send me an email, enables hyperlink and then email message and I get to set the to field, subject field and what the text is displayed there. And when you run this it will launch the default email client and start a message. So this isn't that useful when you're giving a presentation to a lot of people. But if you give people the presentation to take home and they play it to run through the slides they can then click on this link and send you an email. Because of course not all keynote presentations are given in front of an audience. Sometimes you create one and distribute it. So these links to different web pages and also to create an email message could be important then. Hope you found this look at hyperlinks in Keynote useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.